Tubers is a story-driven comedy series hosted on YouTube that nests a range of wacky characters, uses those characters to deliver comedic timing in any way necessary, while equally embedding subtle hints and callbacks, builds the world both in the writing as well as the high production quality, and intertwines the characters so tightly that if even one of the cast members wasn't present in this series, it literally wouldn't be the same. Which makes the show a one-of-a-kind spectacle that would be very difficult to emulate. Mostly because the acting is coming from a genuine place. The cast members who pull this off include Gregor Thompson, Jerome, Lena Lux, Hubert George I, Janitor J, and Allie. Gregor Thompson, played by Mackenzie Jewell, is the most awkward one. Known as the germaphobe TikTok star that does toy reviews, he's a fanboy as well as a mama's boy. It's also revealed that Gregor is easily paranoid, anxious, allergic, and very emotionally vulnerable. Especially contrasting with all of the cast members. Jerome, played by Asher Woriach, is the most mysterious one. He's the businessman who showed up out of nowhere, yet used his confidence to join the team instantly. Pretending to be the most idiotic one out of the bunch, not much is currently revealed about this character, which builds intrigue for what's to come. Lena Lux plays herself. She's an Instagram model, which is shown right out of the gate. Her character is very self-obsessed, yet takes realistic approaches to situations, and is proud of it. Hubert George I, played by Emma Reyes, is the leader of the Dream Team. While being both the master of spreadsheets and people management, this insightful yet fidgety cast member is always learning about YouTube as a platform. Hubert also seems to have the happiest aura out of all of the cast members. Janitor J, played by Ashura Ani, is the one who is always spectating every single situation. Since Jay is always observing the Dream Team, his way of character development is being real with the camera, and likes to say it how it is. Because of this, Jay is also an insightful character who has the ability to be an advice giver to those who need it most, and to generally be there for people. Allie, played by Madison Lair, is the fangirl of the Dream Team. This typical fangirl is both obsessive, ditzy, and knows practically everything. <laughs> about the cast. I know everything about you. Your favorite coffee is hazelnut. You recently filed for bankruptcy. Your favorite food is McDonald's kids meal. And you, you like to sleep on your stomach. Ali is also a self-proclaimed expert vlogger. All of these characters, except for Ali, were actually revealed before episode one even aired. First, in the form of the official Tubers theme song, which gives us a sliver of each character's personality and role. Then, in individual interviews. The theme song, which is a bop, was the first public video on the channel, and is a 52 second intro video with appearances from the five main cast members. It opens with the VidCon creator tag, which gets you excited right from the get go to say, hey, if you're a YouTube creator, or you're very aware with the YouTube platform as a whole, then this show is for you. Next, it shows MRI's character being hard at work, but also not afraid to have an occasional goof to boost morale. Then it shows Mackenzie using antibacterial gel, which gives us our first hint that this character is a germaphobe. Mackenzie's character has a collection of toys on his desk, indicating that he may be a collector of such. It also shows how clumsy, <laughs> he, he can be. Following that is a shot of an Amber Rose beauty box, which cuts directly to Lena posing in a dress, signifying that she is a fashionable model. Then it shows her with a sword to show her dominance. After that, she puts on a crown and waves, which implies that she thinks she is of very high value to the team. Next is a shot of a collection of MRI's and Asher's photos together, which then shows Asher's character sleeping, signifying that he wants us to perceive him as the lazy one who does nothing in the public eye. Yet right before it cuts to the next scene, his eyes open faintly, showing that he was never asleep to begin with, which means that he is paying attention but playing the fool. Next scene, Asher's character is on Hubert's computer, looking very suspicious, doing who knows what kind of shady activity. Then it slowly shows a broom, which introduces Ashura's character. In every intro shot of this specific character, we see him both in Mackenzie's office and Hubert's office, showing that he is in fact spectating them, and is the overseer of what's to come. Next is a shot where everyone is attempting to take their own selfie in the same group which shows that although they are all on the dream team, they each have their own goals and aspirations. It also shows a sneak peek of episode two. The very last shot lasts 30 seconds and shows everyone on the steps and on their phones, except Hubert. 
which shows that Hubert is the leader of the dream team and has to watch out for everyone. After a few seconds, everyone looks up at the camera, they then go their separate ways, which again symbolizes that they all have their own goals, even if it doesn't involve the dream team. This leaves Hubert alone on the stairs, signifying that this dream team is his ship to sail, and the rest of the group are crew members on his ship. It then ends with the tuber's graphic sleekly sliding in. Other than the theme song, the interviews also show off the personalities of the characters, but in a more clear way. A person off screen, who ends up becoming a cast member later on, asks each character specific questions that reveal something about all of their personalities. This is the first time hearing the characters speak. Nice to meet you. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, yes. It's re oh. Oh, right. Hi, Hubert. Hi. Hi, it's wonderful to finally meet first. you. Yes. yes. Meet you. Meet Hi, you. yes. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Here we notice some character traits that add depth to the cast. And for the most part, there are things that end up being revealed later in the show. Jerome's interview is the most important one to spectate at the moment, due to the fact that he is the most secretive character. On July 6th, 2019, episode 1 was published. This episode titled, The Auditions, introduces and develops the characters right from the start. The show does so by showing auditions of the new upcoming dream team that Hubert is attempting to create. It's an overall funny introductory episode that leaves you wanting more. Which is perfect since they also released episode 2 at the exact same time. Episode 2, titled Carpool Karaoke, is the first episode that introduces the intro video into the show. After explaining each character non-verbally, we begin to see little glimpses of each person's personality. In this episode, the plot was the dream team attempting to get a celebrity on their show, which honestly was one of the best episodes of season 1. Episode 3 was published on August 10th, 2019. It focused on the dream team getting a brand deal, while simultaneously dealing with their new cast member, no, that's the show. That's, they don't say, uh. While simultaneously dealing with their new member slash fangirl. Allie even goes so far as to teach the crew how to vlog, which ended up becoming quite a humorous experience. All right guys, this is where I do my work. As you can see my paperwork, I fell you out right there. You haven't turned the camera on. Oh. Episode four, made public on September 14th, 2019, is titled, Taking One for the Team. The person doing so, is Gregory, who gets a tattoo. What's great about this specific episode is due to the style of the show, you're not 100% sure if Gregory is actually getting a tattoo or not. Which leads you to questioning the legitness of this entire situation. There's also a side story that's at the same time as this event, which is where the janitor watches over the office with Allie. All these episodes are sprinkled in with fun, ridiculous, and entertaining jokes that are well-timed and don't feel forced. Literally every single style of joke that you can imagine is in this show, which shows how diverse the writing can become. When you watch Tubers, which is written by Amarias and Mackenzie Jewell, you notice that the vibe is very familiar to another well-loved show. So in a sense, Tubers is the YouTube version of The Office. In The Office, a bunch of people work in an office. While showing the struggles of a small group of individuals, and while using creative writing to create jokes in any way possible, it isn't so relatable to a younger demographic. In Tubers, a bunch of people rent out an office and try to become big YouTubers, while showing the struggles of a group of small influencers, which makes this show relatable to such unknown creators. Obviously, these two shows have their differences. However, both of these shows have a very similar vibe, especially with their jokes. While The Office was a quirky look at a older demographic's specific workplace, Tubers was a specific look at a younger demographic's specific workplace. They both have beloved characters. They both show their own struggles, both with their jobs and with them personally. They both have really good writing. And what was done with eight writers, where the responsibility was to create a good story, is done with two writers in this show. All in all, Tubers is honestly one of the most underrated comedy shows on the internet as of current. The amount of resources spent, including time, mental energy, money, performance, and production, with the little amount of return on investment, is honestly disheartening 
as much as it is incredible. It's disheartening because creating a show to this quality that was originally done with about 60 people was accomplished with about six people. It's incredible because it's obvious that it's a passion project that exists because someone wanted to create something new that didn't exist yet. Not with the intention to make money from it. I wish the absolute best for the Dream Team. And I hope that the series continues not only for seasons to come, but that it eventually attracts even more viewers than The Office. Special thanks to my four patrons who support me on Patreon. If you'd also like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.